Turning now to the Biden presidency. President Biden signed an executive order authorizing new sanctions against Russia for a wide range of activities it's carried out against American interests. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. The Biden administration announced sweeping new sanctions targeting Russia in retaliation for its cyber attacks and interference in the 2020 election. Our objective here is to impose um, costs uh, for what we feel are uh, uh, unacceptable actions uh, by the Russian government. The sanctions target more than 30 individuals and entities. The State Department is also expelling 10 Russian diplomats and intelligence officials stationed in the U.S. When we push back with our allies, and partners, we obviously increase the cost and we increase the delegitimization of essentially those types of activities. President Biden had a phone call with Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday in which he warned actions would be coming and raised concerns about Russian military buildup along the border with Ukraine. The administration also says it's responding to reports that Russia encouraged Taliban attacks against U.S. personnel in Afghanistan. We, of course, will not stand by and accept the targeting of our personnel by any elements, including a foreign state actor. This information really puts the burden on Russia and the Russian government to explain uh, their engagement here. Secretary of State Tony Blinken made a surprise visit to Kabul this morning and addressed concerns, including some from the intelligence community that Afghanistan could descend into civil war and become a safe haven for terrorists after U.S. troops pull out. The consequences of, of that future are literally in no one's interest. President Biden announced Wednesday he's withdrawing all U.S. troops from the country by September 11th. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. President Biden has proposed holding a summit with President Putin in Europe this summer. Putin has not yet said whether he would agree to a summit. Look for much more on the Russian sanctions tonight on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. That's at 6.30 after CBS 4 News at 6.